Hey guys, this is um, a recap of the game against Carolina. That was a bad weather game. That I'm sorry if I can get the game up because I had no choice, but the weather was too bad, the roads were too bad. I didn't want to risk the chance of things you know, dying or whatever. So I just decided to do a recap of this game against Carolina. At the Islanders won two to one in overtime on a goal by John Tavares. So I'll go recap um, period by period and just go through it quickly and let's go on. I found out I couldn't go to the game and the snow hit and I was a little upset but I said, oh it's only one game, let me just uh, wait it out. So I stayed home and I watched the first period. Islanders looked horrible. The Blackhawks get that early first minute goal. They couldn't rebound in the period, but they got a little bit of themselves going at the end of the period. After that goal, they settled down. They made defensive plays. The Blackhawks made a lot more saves. The Islanders only got a few shots on that. But what I'm going to tell you now, the second period is where it all starts. The second period seemed to favor the Islanders with the officials. The refs finally gave the Islanders some good calls, including, I think, three power plays, maybe four. But the Islanders came out ready. And one nothing halfway through the period, the Islanders got a rush, a couple saves by Cam Ward, but John Tavares hit the net and hit the throw, and the Islanders got the tie one to one. The rest of the period, the Islanders dominated, but they couldn't get the shot in, and the Hurricanes came back with a little bit themselves, but the Islanders got off 23 shots in the second period, and were just looking to win this game, and win it by a good score at least. So, into the third period, the Islanders went. The Islanders couldn't muster through anything in the third, neither did the Hurricanes. There were some nice rushes and chances went by the boards, but the Islanders kept their cool, they stayed where they had to be, they got pressure, they kept dumping and chasing, and they had a good shot of winning because they at least got a point as they go to overtime. And by that point, Nabokov had only given up two goals and three games of regulation. And that's a lot of time. <laughs> three games. 60, 120, 180. 180 minutes of game time without giving up more than two goals. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's vintage Ibaka for you. So the Islanders headed to overtime. They got some immediate pressure but couldn't get anything through. The Hurricanes came back with a few, few themselves, but again the Blackhawks was sharp. The Islanders held their cool for the first couple minutes, and then is when the action really happened. With less than a minute left, Parento got the puck of the boards, he had the puck, he passed it to Tavares, and Tavares just so neatly, so swiftly, just tucked that puck with his stick through Cam Ward's pads with like 30 seconds left in overtime. And that puck just went like so slowly, so slowly, and just found its way through, but it was Tavares who got the puck in. So the Islanders celebrated, they went that third straight, and this one in dramatic fashion, the puck just found its way through, and the Islanders won three straight, and they're currently playing in Toronto. They're down one nothing in second intermission, and that's why I'm doing this video now, because the period's going to start soon. But the Islanders came out, and they played great, and again, Tavares, two goals, and the game winner, in this big game they had to win, as now they're in the second intermission, well first intermission, for the home and home versus Toronto.